Making a leather cosplay like this could cost you hundreds of dollars. Let me show you how to paint inexpensive craft foam to look like leather. Hi, I'm Becky from Let's Make Geek Stuff, and this is my third video in my Making a Leather Bracer out of Craft Foam tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how to paint craft foam to look like leather. Now, I believe the key to getting that leather look is to layer a lot of different colors. I mean, if you look at this piece of hide, you might think, oh, it's brown. But if you really get in to look at it, there's yellows and reds and dark browns and blacks. Like there's all this rich color in here. And so we're gonna try to mimic this by layering color. For the sake of my demonstration, I'm just gonna be using cheap craft paint that you can buy at the uh, Walmart or the craft store. If you're making something that you wanna keep for a long time, I do recommend using a cosplay flexible paint like this FX. FX does not sponsor me. You can sponsor me if you want FX, but um, I have really liked their paints. Before you begin, make sure that your foam has been sealed in some way. Mine has been heat sealed because I ironed on uh, the leather texture. Uh, heat sealing, bare minimum. You can also add a sealant such as a flex bond or plasti dip or a tacky glue or um, FX also has a great sealer. I recommend starting on a black surface. And so if you're working with a different color of foam, put down a um, layer of like flat black before you begin. Now leather finishes come in all different colors. I'm gonna do more of like a red, rich red under color, but you could also do more yellowy, like mustardy, um, even green, um, or just a flat brown if you're just going for straight brown. But I'm today gonna use this. This is like a really old paint I have hanging around. It's a burgundy. So we're gonna start with a layer of burgundy. You'll notice that I kind of use circular random brush strokes that I've left some like black spots are peeking through. It's kind of very splotchily applied. And that's what I mean by layering color. So this is done, we're gonna let it dry. And we're gonna come back and do our next layer. This real brown is my main color. I'm gonna lay down two or three coats to this. I mean, there's no science here. Put down as much color as you think looks good. Stopping at two coats of the brown paint because I don't want to cover up the undercoat too much. I want all those colors to kind of mix together there. So now I've added just a little drop of white to the brown to bring it up one or two values lighter. I'm using a relatively dry brush and I'm just going to drag really lightly across the top of this to kind of try to bring out some of those light highlights. And I'm gonna go over it with a dry, clean paper towel just to kind of blend it in. Final uh, painting step to make this look kind of like old and weathered. I've mixed up this wash. It's about the consistency of skim milk and it's about half black and half my brown. I'm gonna do a quick wash over this and then I'm gonna blot it with the paper towel. Paper towel, I'm just doing kind of circular motions really lightly because I want the wash to stay in the, those crevices. I'll let that dry. 
couple other paintings done now and now I want to bring out this embossing that I did um, depending on what you're looking for you could have just done left the black wash in there or you could come in and line in black or dark brown to try to make it pop uh, for this project I'm gonna line in this metallic gold Now that I'm done with all my painting, it's time for me to seal this, especially since I'm using acrylic paint. You're gonna wanna put some sort of top coat. Now this could be a clear coat. Um, you can do matte finish, you can do gloss finish, depending on what look you're going for. I'm going to seal mine with um, watered down tacky glue. Now this is the crafting tacky glue. It's not like the school glue. And that's important because the tacky glue, when it dries, uh, remains flexible. If you use a school glue or just the generic white glue, it's going to crack when you try to flex it. So make sure it's tacky glue. I've watered it down. It's about the consistent of consistency of cream. And I'm going to brush on multiple coats. I'll let that dry and then come back and do it again. I have two coats of the tacky glue done now. Um, just hold it up to the light and get the shine off of it and you can kind of see if you need another coat. I think I'll do one more coat of this. After three layers of top coat, the painting is done. I also wanted to show you this bracer. I used the exact same technique, but the undercoat was more of a mustard instead of the burgundy. I also skipped the dark wash on the top just for a different leather look, but I'm pretty happy with how that turned out as well. Here's the ultimate final test. If you were to make a bracer out of this leather, it'd probably cost you around $20. Well, each one of these costs less than $1.50. Thanks for watching. The bracer patterns I've been using for this series are available on my Etsy shop. And if you found this tutorial useful, could you like and subscribe to support the channel? I invite you to watch my final video in this series where I talk about three different ways to fasten on bracers. And as always, I love making geek stuff with you.